healthy habit. Okay, let's start the test. This is a recording for the occupational English test held in CBLA Centre Melbourne. The candidate is John and the candidate number is 23524644. The interviewer is me, interlocutor number 641382. The role play numbers is 1 and the profession is medicine. Good afternoon. My name is May. Can you say your name for the record please? Good afternoon May. My name is John. What is your candidate number? My candidate number is 23524644. Thank you. And you are taking this test as a doctor, is that correct? Correct. Can I see your id? Sure. Okay. So please confirm your details on the test paper then read and sign the candidate declaration on the front of your table. I'm going to be working with you for this test. There will be warm-up questions followed by role plays. Remember this is a test of English not of your professional knowledge. And please speak naturally. Do you have any questions about this? Thank you. I don't have any question. The warm-up questions are not assessed as a chance for us to get used to each other's voices. We'll just talk for two to three minutes. I'd like you to tell me about your professional background. So, can you tell me about a usual day in your job? My job. I arrive every day at nine o'clock. Switch on my computer and read my emails answer the most important ones and then go about doing my assigned projects for the day. That's good. What is best thing about your work? The team. The people I work with. Can you tell me a bit more about the team? It's a multidisciplinary team. It's me with a background in medicine. Then we have a simulation technician who it used to be a paramedic. The team leader is an exercise physiologist. The instructional the lead instructional designer is an ex-nurse and the system coordinator is a physio who still works part-time physio and we are very respectful towards one another and we help each other and we make our days great and the workplace is great to come back to every day and something to look forward to on the weekends. And can you tell me about any recent training you have done? My most recent training was perhaps an ultrasound in terms of my professional background. I got a postgraduate qualification in ultrasound and I can to first, second and third trimester ultrasounds in pregnant ladies as well as basic gynecological ultrasound and very basic abdomen and neck ultrasound. Great, thank you very much for sharing that. So, let's move on to the role plays now. I'll take the part of the patients or perhaps a relative and you'll take your professional role. Each role play will last five minutes. The purpose of the role play is to get evidence of your ability to communicate effectively with patients. Use your ability to fulfill as much of the role play as possible. Do you have any questions? No. You have up to three minutes to prepare the first role play. You will start the role play after that time. I'll let you know when three minutes are up. You can ask me if there's anything you are not sure about and you can make notes on the role play card if you want to. Here's a pencil for making notes. Thank you. You can look at the card during the test, but you must return it to me at the end of the test. This is your information. So, the first role play, it's role play number one for medicine. Please start preparing now. The role play will now last for about five minutes. Don't worry if I stop you when the time is up. Can you start the role play, please? Good morning. May I know your name and birth of date, please? Certainly. My name's May and my date of birth is the 14th of May 1996. Thank you, May. I understand that you have just been discharged from hospital two weeks ago. Is that correct? That's right. This must be very difficult for you. Yeah, I'm happy to be home and I'm feeling much better than I was two weeks ago, but I am feeling really quite tired. I'm a bit worried about that. Sure. Can you tell me a little bit more about the treatment? I understand that you had a mild anterior acute myocardial infarction, and then it was treated in hospital. Yes. Did you have any procedures? I'm trying to discern whether you had any surgery. No, I didn't have any kind of operation. They gave me some medication and that made me feel better. Right. And they hooked me up to some machines. Yes. Right. So. The tiredness began two weeks ago when you returned home from hospital, is that right? Yeah, I suppose after the heart attack. I expected to feel tired, but the tiredness hasn't gone away. So, I'm just I feel quite anxious that maybe this is the new normal for me. 
Sure, but I am always going up to be. Okay, do you have enough sleep? Yeah, sleep maybe not quite as much sleep as I did before the heart attack but yeah pretty, pretty good. How many hours on an average work, workday? Well, I, I like to have 8 hours sleep every night, but I think I'm waking up maybe once in the night at the moment. So, it's not complete 8 hours. Sure, how long does it take you to go back to sleep if you're not during the night? It can take a while. Depends if I've got something on my mind. I put the radio on, that helps. And before the heart attack you never felt like this? No, no. This is new. And the heart attack was completely unexpected. Sure yeah, understandable. Well in hospital they would have done all the necessary investigations to exclude any underlying or unrecognized illness that would be contributed to your tiredness. So, let me reassure you that this is purely due to the normal bodily reactions once the body undergoes such an event as heart attack. Oh, so it is normal that you will be feeling a bit tired the next few weeks but eventually we are expecting that your full energy levels will return. Oh okay, so, this isn't going to be like this forever. Absolutely not. And that is why I would like to address something else with you that will help you with not feeling tired for a long time. It is called Cardiac Rehabilitation Program. Have you heard about that? I think they mentioned something about it in the hospital but because they talked about walking and swimming. I didn't think that was such a good idea because I don't want to have another heart attack. Sure. Yes, absolutely. Well, cardiac rehab is all about graduating that necessary exercise levels that you would be able to tolerate that you would not be getting any chest pain or what we call ischemic pain. That is what causes the heart attack. And by um.by graduate and exercise the circulation in your body will improve and that will not only make it not only make you less. Less vulnerable to ischemic events, but it will also improve your overall feeling about yourself as well as the very just by being able to exercise you will not be feeling tired as you're feeling now. Okay, I do worry though I mean the doctor said if I had another heart attack you would be more severe. And because I'm feeling so tired, I do worry that doing exercise is going to make me more likely. Yes. The cardiac rehab is guided and coordinated by physiotherapists who are trained into this field and that's what they do. They're experts at rehabilitating people who have undergone the same problems as you have in, and are recovering from a heart attack. But on top of the exercise we do have to address a few other things and that is the other contributor, contributing risk factors to developing another heart attack. Please don't worry about that because if you change your lifestyle, your chances of having another one are quite low, especially if you find ways to maintain normal levels of good cholesterol, and losing weight and strengthening your heart. As I said by graduated, exercise coordinated by rehab cardio rehab physiotherapists. Okay, John the role play ends here. Thank you. Thank you as well. Thank you for watching.